Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Maturk EMF Radiation and Electromagnetic Field Tester. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe as we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. And make sure you guys go ahead and like and turn on post notifications. Also, I would like to thank Maturk for sponsoring today's video. But other than that, let's get started. So jumping straight into the video, we are taking a look at the Metric EMF tester and this is how the box looks like. Now taking a look at the inside of the box, you guys get the device itself, what is the EMF tester and you guys also get the manual, what is right underneath it and that's all what's in the box and other than that, you guys can just see it straight up onto the device. Now looking at the user manual it does come in a couple of different languages and it tells you exactly how to use it what its accuracy and all of that is with all of its features included what is really great but i'm going to be talking about it anyways in this video so looking at the device itself you guys can see the metric logo and all of its buttons in the back it says emf tester for electromagnetic field testing and those are the sensor positions towards the top a screen for you guys to be able to see the readings that the device comes with to actually power up the device you guys will need to open up the back and include three triple a batteries what is actually included but just if it runs out of batteries the battery indicator will tell you that and you guys can go ahead and replace it press and hold the power button to actually turn it on and then it turns on you guys get the temperature in a either celsius or fahrenheit uh, depending on where you live now it has two units of measurements what is micro teslas and milligrays what is for two different purposes as micro teslas are used usually for the magnetic field and milligrays are usually used for the electric field but that depends on what you guys want to read now you guys also see the battery status to the top right and you guys can click on the power button to turn on and off the sound and the mode button to make a max or a hold to see exactly how much uh, radiation is actually being produced from the device that you guys are testing out in that situation. Now over here I'm taking a look at my PC and over here you guys can see it's at 0.29 right now and it really depends on how close to the device you get. Obviously there's the case around it um, for the PC so there is some sort of protection in a way to block out more radiation than there should be but again it is still producing radiation out there and you guys can see it's hitting 1.16 over there and it's getting pretty high um, even showing it back to you guys it will show pretty high readings now i do change the mode to hold to see what it will hold at now i'm not really sure why you would want to use this feature exactly but i guess if you're getting a stable connection you guys can hold it i also go ahead and change it to max what will tell you the exact max that that device is hitting or wherever you are at where the radiation is and over here my pc has hit a max of 1.58 really depends on where you are measuring the radiation levels so if you guys are looking for an EMF radiation tester out there, I would definitely recommend the Metric one as it is a great EMF radiation tester out there with two different units of your choosing. And it is really accurate as it has a plus or minus 5% what is 50 to 200 micro teslas if the reading is wrong but that is how accurate it will be what is really really good and uh, i wouldn't recommend any other device if you guys do want to test radiation around a device or just around the area where you are if you guys do want to buy this device i will leave links down in the description below so make sure you guys go ahead and check them out Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe as we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. Also, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the bell notifications to see exactly when I post a new video. Follow up my social media and might as well also comment down in the description below as how I did in this video, what I can improve on. And also, if you guys just want to say hi, go ahead and say that in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.